What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to downgrade your iPhone 4S from iOS 9.3.5 down to iOS 6.1.3. Without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to show you the iOS version of my iPhone 4S. So as you can see, it is running iOS 9.3.5. Now let's proceed with a step one. The first thing you need to do is you need to visit this site, 3u.com. Once you're in the website, you can download either of these three versions, 2.59, 2.58, or the 2.57. Once you have finished downloading the software, you can open it up and install it. Select Yes and select Install. Once it's finished installing, you can now launch the software. Now select launch and it will prompt you to install the iTunes software. If you already have the iTunes software, you need to click X but if you don't have it, you need to click install. In my case, since I already have the iTunes software, what I'm going to do is to open it up. So I'm going to click open. Now I'm going to plug in my iPhone 4S. And the 3 tool software will pop up, just click OK, and the iTunes, just click Cancel. Next step is you need to click Jailbreak now, and wait for this option to pop up, and select Phoenix. Once you select Phoenix, you need to click Start Jailbreak. Click Start Jailbreak and wait for the process. This window will pop up and you need to enter your Apple ID. Once you enter your Apple ID, you need to click OK. After that, you will encounter this issue, which is the virus and threat protection. In order to fix this problem, you need to go to settings or you need to click virus and threat protection in order to solve this problem. You need to click that option and under the virus and threat protection settings, you need to click manage settings. Once you click Manage Settings, click uh, Real-Time Protection to turn off. Make sure that it is turned off in order to solve the problem. Click Yes and now redo the process. Select Phoenix Jailbreak again and click Start Jailbreak. After that, you need to enter your Apple ID in order to continue jailbreaking your iPhone 4S. Click OK and wait for the process until it is complete. Once it reaches 100%, this will pop up in your phone. Now you need to click that and click trust. Again, you need to click trust in order for Phoenix jailbreak to get verified. Now click home and now there's Phoenix jailbreak. Now click OK and we can X this one. And now the next step is we're going to install the other version of Trio tools. So as, as of this moment, we have the version 2.59 and we're going to install the version 2.56, so this one. The version 2.56 allows us to downgrade our iPhone 4S to iOS 6.1.3 in order to make it successful. So we're going to download this and reinstall the whole software of Trio Tools. Once downloaded, you need to open your downloads folder and find the version 2.56 Trio Tools. You need to click once you found it and we're going to install this software. Click yes and click install. Again install and wait for it until it is complete. After the installation, we can now launch the software. Now click launch. Now click OK. And sometimes we need to replug in our iPhone in order for the software to detect our device. And now as you can see, we have the version 2.56 of Trio Tools. And the next step is we need to install the iOS 6.1.3 for our iPhone 4S. And 
we will base it on the product type as you can see in the screen the product type of this iPhone is iPhone 4 comma 1 and we're going to find it on Google so now we're going to launch our Chrome and search for the iOS 6.1.3 software in the search bar you need to type in trio tools downgrade iOS 6 and click search after that choose the first option and once you open the site you need to scroll down to the bottom and you will see the different iOS 6.1.3 softwares for different devices so as you can see we have the iPhone 4 comma 1 and we need to choose the software that matches the product type so the first one is the iPhone 4 comma 1 we need to download that one so you need to right click open link in new window and wait for it until it pops up and if it doesn't load just click reload and boom the software should start downloading wait for it until it is completed after downloading the software we can now minimize the chrome and then the next step is we need to jailbreak our iphone since we already have the software which is the phoenix jailbreak as a tool for jailbreaking our phone we can now jailbreak our device click kickstart jailbreak and click use provided offsets after that this will pop up and your phone may start to reboot wait for it until it boots up in order to tell that the jailbreak is successful is you will be able to see the CD application in the home screen aside from that when we launch the Phoenix application it is indicated that the iPhone is jailbroken and we may now able to launch Cydia from the home screen. Now let's open up Cydia and it may take a while for it to get fully reloaded. This will pop up automatically and you just click return to Cydia and click complete upgrade and click confirm. Wait for it until it is completely downloaded. Sometimes Cydia will force close on its own and you need to open it up again and click edit and we're going to add source and type this source repo.themestar.net and click add source after that it may take a while for it to update the sources so be patient Once finished, you need to click return to Cydia and then click search and you need to search for KDFU app and click install. This will help you to install the iOS 6.1.3 successfully. After that, you need to click return to Cydia and we can now close the Cydia application and we can now launch the KDFU application. Just click find bundle and then download IBSS and once the IBSS has been downloaded, you need to click find IBSS and toggle on the last option and then enter KDFU which your iPhone will boot into KDFU state or the DFU mode once your iPhone has been detected just click OK after that select go flash and select import and then find the software that you have downloaded earlier which is the iPhone 4 comma 1 it is the iOS 6.1.3 and select open and then make sure that it is in the quick flash mode and select flash select flash again and wait for the process until it is completed
After the installation, wait for your phone to boot up. It may take a while for it to get into the home screen as it is a new software. As you can see, this iPhone is now running iOS 6.1.3 and the installation of the software is successful. Now I'm going to set up this iPhone so we can go to the home screen. And this is the iOS 6 home screen. Now let's check the settings and select general and click about. And as you can see, it is running iOS 6.1.3. So that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. As always, stay tuned for more videos. Give a like and subscribe to my channel and peace out.